Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Disco Sean Twenty One. You know, I I kind of don't want to make this video, and I kind of do. So if I get too many thumbs down on this video, I'm taking it off YouTube. Because right now, I've been sipping on a little bit of um adult beverages, and I might be saying something. And I didn't consult my ma manager, Kevin Kelly. I didn't talk to Kevin. I should have spoke with Kevin first. But I'm going to make this video, and I'm going to let you guys decide if I'm wrong or right. Too many thumbs down is going down. Simple as that. But I'm, I'm simply kind of straight up pissed. That's on everything I love. I'm going to tell you why. I look at the way YouTube is going now. Okay, so they want to gear towards more videos that are past three minutes. But at first, that's what they wanted. So that's what we were doing, okay? All right, so I did that. But then, when they changed the algorithm and started getting on with these bigger companies and putting movies and all this other crap, they forgot about us, the little guy. Okay, so I'm pissed. But guess what? I'm a fighter, so I conform to what they want. I do. So I started making videos longer. I started making my live shows. I got live shows for hour, two hours with me performing, doing my thing in front of this computer, entertaining y'all. Guess what? I've been getting emails or messages all day. Whenever they try to see the video, the video won't play. Hmm. Was that done on purpose? Let's think about this. I got subscribers who are being unsubscribed to me without me doing it. Now, that could be a hater, some young computer whiz hating on me, making that happen. I don't know. I'm not blaming nothing on nobody specifically because I don't know. But guess what? They pump people like Fred. They pump people like Sean Dawson. They pump people like uh, Ray Williams Jr. Guess what? Guess who's funnier than all of them? This dude right here in the National Enquirer. That's me. All right? That's me. This dude in the National Enquirer. This dude on America's Got Talent. That's me. I don't contact these people. They contact me and ask me to be on their show. They ask me to buy my video. I got contracts galore where I sell, especially Man Bungo. Man Bungo sells more than any of my videos. All right, so how come I'm not getting the love? How come YouTube ain't putting me on the front page promoting me? Maybe it ain't YouTube. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a higher power or lower power. I don't know. But my point being that, and I'm not hating on Dawson, uh, RJ. I'm not hating on none of those cats. But guess what? Guess what color I am? I'm funnier than all of them. I'm going to say that, and I will back it up by my video. But guess what? And I'm not making this a color or race issue. Don't even start tripping like that, fool. But what I am saying is that maybe if I was a few shader, lighter shades of brown, I'd have a better chance of getting down. But that's okay, because I got some people out there looking for me. And uh, we making things happen. But my point is that I'm very disappointed. Because not only am I being hurt, but the people who are just coming into YouTube are the are, are the ones who've been on YouTube not as long as me and don't have. I think I like fifty some thousand subscribers. I don't know. It's a bunch of it's this is a whack number, but I should probably be over like maybe ten million view uh, subscribers. But I'm not being promoted and pushed out there and my shit on the front page and all that other good stuff like other people. But my point is that for the people out there who are trying to do what I'm trying to do. They're not getting the love, especially the way things have changed right now. I, it just blows my mind that my videos are on commercials. I'm on commercials. Everything is showing up, and I'm just not being pushed here like I wish I would or I should be. Let's jump jump from another one. Though. Let's just move on. So, like I said, what I decided to do was I'm going to go ahead and start my own show. but And I'm going to post it here on YouTube. I'm going to make it a 30-minute show once a week. My real name is Sean Milan. I don't want to tell you my last name. You can look on my page and find it. But I might call it the Sean Milan Show or the Disco Sean 21 Show. All right? 
The way YouTubers make it is from other YouTubers. When they watch the videos, when they email the videos to their friends, when they share the videos, that's how a video goes viral. So if you support somebody and love them and like their video, then share the damn video. Don't be a hater because there's a lot of haters out there and I'm a congratulator. If you don't believe me, look at my videos. Look at my videos. You'll see. I show love to all the people that passed away because I know how it feels. My son passed away and we donated his organs and saved other lives. I'm not, I'm not a selfish person. I'm not all about me. I'm about us. If I make it, you make it. I know they said this thing about black people, crabs in a barrel. One crab make it to the top. The other crab pulled them down. Hey, you know what? I found that to be true. When I was a little boy, my daddy told me. Because he knew I was a singer, a dancer, a dancer, a soul train, party machine. I was a comedian back when I was young, y'all. Young. And he told me, he said, son, you know what? Whatever you do, never, ever, ever get a black manager. He told me to make sure my manager was white. Guess what? In the 90s when I was doing my thing, I had two black managers. Guess what? One was black ball from Hollywood and the other one was screwing me. So my manager is white. My manager right now is white. He got a, a, a mohawk. He got tattoos. He used to manage rock bands, the whole shot. And you know what? I totally believe that he's looking out for me 100%. He makes me go to practice. He he types and writes out all my lines that I'm going to do for my... Because I'm going to start doing stand-up. He looks out for me. A white man. And they say racism exists. Yes, it does. But let me tell you something, everybody is not racist. Everybody, and, and that's from every race. Look at me. I don't care what color you are. You could be my friend. I don't care what color you are. As long as you show me respect, and I show you respect, we can be homies. A lot of cats here on YouTube hit me up. I give them advice. I talk to them. If I'm in that city, I'll even hang out with you. I was just in Las Vegas. A lot of cats hit me up and said, Sean, you know, uh, let us know where you're going to be at in Vegas so we can all have a meetup, you know, with your fans and blah, blah, blah. But I didn't get a chance to do that because I had a lot of other stuff going on and I had other um, obligations I had to meet. So I couldn't do that. But I'm going to let you know something, you guys. If you have a dream... Don't let no one deter you from that dream. You, you, you make yourself go out and reach for that dream. If you don't have nobody in your corner, because I ain't have nobody in my corner when I was young, pushing me, pushing me the way I should have been pushed. If I had that, I'd probably be an NFL football player because I was a hell of a defensive back. Or I'd be a superstar by now. But I didn't have that, you guys. I'm giving that to you. I'm pushing you. I don't care whether you sing, whether you dance, whether you do art, if you're a comedian, an actor, you, you're whatever, whatever you do, I'm pushing you. Get your ass out there and do it. Don't wait for shit to be handed to you. I'm pushing you. Get out there and do it. You don't need nobody to push you. All you have to have is two things, a dream and a freaking goal, and you can succeed. It's nice to have people in your corner. You might be doing something so minute, you don't even think it's that big. But let me tell you something, if you're doing it, it's that big. Forget what people say about you. What pisses me off a lot of times, people come down on gay people. Let me tell you something. I have some really, really good gay friends. These people have the greatest hearts. They will, males, I'm just going to say males for right now, and females, I better say females too. They will help you. They will go up for the bat for you, but they won't sleep with you. <laughs> now the males, if they don't sleep with me, I don't care. <laughs> the females, I get a little jealous because I'm lesbian too. <laughs> So anyway, like I said, you guys, I don't like discrimination against someone because of their sex, religion, color, or creed. I really don't. I, you know, it's a, I just don't like it. 
But on the other hand, you guys, like I said, let's get back to, to the subject at hand, what I was talking about. For, for those out there that have a dream, I know a lot of you will click off this video. You don't want to see the whole video. It's already at 10 minutes. You're probably like, oh, I don't want to sit up and hear this brother preach or whatever. But you know what? Crack make me crazy! Crack make me crazy! Crack make me crazy! Possibly! I can't wait till I get my voice back. I'm gonna sing my ass off. Watch. Wait till I get my voice back. Like I start get, if I don't start smoking cigars and drinking, that's another thing, you guys. Don't do drugs. Don't drink. <laughs> Especially if you're an artist or you're a talent and you're trying to do something in life. Don't do it. And I'm gonna tell you why. Uh it's good for the moment. Okay. You know, like I love Drake and I little I love Lil Wayne. I love those two cats. I might be too strong out on confidence, overdose on confidence, flow on every day, saying and all that confidence. They say I'm back. I agree with that. Uh time and time fell off. Who I needed that. And the same as man and even though who I needed that. Honey see son of my that honey see that Oh, don't do it. Please don't do it, cause one of us go in, then we all go through it. Say so Sean got the money, so well, man, oh hold up, let me, I'm trip, I'm been drinking too much. <laughs> Sean ain't got the money. <laughs> See, Drizzy got the money, so Drizzy gon' pay. Then my brothers, I ain't even gotta say it. It's just something they know. They know, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know. Yeah, I love that song. I love that song, and, I, and you know what? When he said that, I was like, oh, this is Drizzy. Or Drake is a cool brother, but Drake's stupid than a mother. Let me tell you why. Because that's how Hammer went broke. That's how Iverson went broke. That's a lot of them cats went broke because they was taking care of the boys. And you know what? Uh, unfortunately to say, sometimes that fame don't last forever. That money don't last forever, especially if you're spinning like water. If you look at these young black athletes... These young black athletes, they get out there and they get these contracts and they're spending money like it's just growing on trees and not taking care of their finances or not having anyone or not doing the right investments. So what happens? They go broke. I mean, Hammer, uh, Hammer is a cool dude. I met Hammer when I danced on the party machine when Arsenio hired me for that show. Hammer went broke, but Hammer's coming back up. Because Hammer, he, he's a smart man, smart businessman. But I love his heart. He took care of all those cats out there in Oakland. And another cat that I did some stuff with was Snoop Dogg at VIP Records in Long Beach with Calvin. Uh, I was dancing with MC uh, GQ Steve and DJ Slice. And uh, we were practicing in the back. And Snoop Dogg, before he even started rapping, came back there. And we were in a cypher. And I'm telling you these stories because this stuff is true. I ain't got to lie. And Snoop came back there in a cypher. Oh, my gosh. Snoop got down. I, I hope he see this video because I know he'll remember this. We're at the back of the VIP. I mean, the back of uh, VIP records. And we're about to do a, sh a tour with MC Light. We're actually we're doing a show in Oxnard. And Snoop came back there because we were rehearsing. That brother got back there and he turned it out. Bad brother. Been on top since. And guess what? You and I can do it too. We can do it, y'all. We can do it. The key thing is, like I said, perseverance. And man, you know, there's going to be trials and tribulations. There's going to be speed bumps in the road. But whatever you are doing in life, I guarantee you, you can succeed. I promise you, I swear to it, you can succeed. We both can succeed. Six Chaka Khan. Chaka 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 Hey, look. I know y'all probably saying this brother been spitting now for almost 15 minutes, but I'm kicking the truth to you guys, man. I know I'm supposed to be showing y'all some uh, videos of chat, not chat roulette, uh, prank all prank. I'm going to stick them in there. I'll probably stick them in there in a minute. There's going to be some funny ones, too. You're going to laugh your ass off. Trust me, you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. But I really wanted to talk to you guys and tell you what was up. You know, because uh, I feel I got a little bit of popularity. I have children your age. And I feel like, I'm not saying I'm a role model, but I'm saying I feel like I'm obligated. I feel like it's my duty 
to try to make this world a better place. I really admire Michael Jackson because that's all he tried to do was make the world a better place. He really, really did. And me personally, that's all I want to do. I'm going to tell y'all something really crazy. And some of y'all might look at me like this dude is out of his freaking mind. But I want to be like Jesus. I truly want to be like Jesus. Jesus. And I think I've only told one person this ever before. But I want to be like the type of man that he was. because, And he is still today. Everybody looked up to him. They admired him. And that was great. But. Jesus wanted to save the world, you know, he, he wanted to make this world a better place. He wanted to save each and every man. He performed miracles. He showed love. He sacrificed everything, everything to save you and I. And I'm not trying to preach to you guys, but this is how I feel. I want to be like Jesus. When I leave this world, this earth, you know how we all talk about Jesus, we talk about God. I want y'all talking about me like that. I truly do. I want you talking about Disco Sean 21 like that. And, and call me by my real name. My real name is Sean Milan DeBose. I, I, I want you to talk about Sean Milan or Sean DeBose. I, I, I truly do. I, I, I want to be, I, I want to be that type of man that everyone respects, everyone loves, everyone believes in. Because I really, truly want to help you guys. And if I can just make one person laugh out of all the videos I do, all the crazy things I do, all the crazy things I say, then I've accomplished my goal. But I thank you guys. I thank you for sending me your, 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 your wonderful messages. You know, Sean, you, you did this for me this day. I was feeling this way and you made me laugh. I get this all. I get so much fan email. You won't even believe it. I can't answer it all. So I apologize to you guys. I truly apologize. I can't answer it all. But I try to answer as much. And then and what I'm starting to do now is get on my videos when I see your comments. And I'm starting to, um, I'm starting to like leave responses to your comments. Because I feel you deserve that. You deserve that for just watching my video. Stupid dude like me jumping over the barbecue pit. When I did Shaq, I'll jump Kobe. Or me singing Crack Make Me Crazy in my, in my Crack Make Me Crazy video. Or me doing my racist test Tuesday. What power? Show me your pit ass. <laughs> or me doing Pastor Filthy. I'm, hey, I'm bringing Pastor Filthy live to the stage. And I think my first stop is the comedy store in Hollywood. We're trying to book that. That's that's what we're trying to do. I'm a, I don't know if you remember the video, but I want to sing the song for you. I want to sing this song. <clears throat> Hold on. My voice ain't right, but I want to sing the song. Hope you guys are still laughing and stand here with me, man. I'm hoping. Here we go. I met a girl. She was so pretty. I fell in love when she showed me her tiggle bitties. I could never do you wrong, baby. Oh, cause I love your titties. Ooh, I want you, baby. In a special way. All you got to do. All you got to do. Is show me your tip ties. Your tip. I'm bringing that act to the stage. And give me your opinion on that, because the first part of my act is I'm going to sing, show me your titties from Pastor Filthy, and then I'm going to welcome Man Bungo to the stage, and I'm doing the whole Man Bungo video, dancing Man Bungo, and then after that, I'm going to sing Crack Make Me Crazy live. 
So tell me what you guys think of that. I know I'm supposed to be showing y'all my um prank call pranks video, but I feel good just talking to y'all right now. I feel like I'm live, even though I'm not. And I am live. I'm live. But some of you guys will see this video and see this tape. And if you can't watch it all right now for the whole 20 minutes and 10 seconds, then come back to it. Because I feel like I'm live. I can't go live on YouTube right now. I have to wait like another four, five, six months. Hey! You guys shoot me over some other places I can go live. And then I'll, I'll make a video letting you know I'm there going live more time. Because you know what? Why should I wait here when I'm getting dogged out? I should be able to go live on YouTube because I think I can, you know, bring something to the table. Well, that's what I think. I mean, so maybe it's I'm black. I don't know. Hey, so look. Another thing I want to do is I just want to say uh, thank you all. I want to say thank you guys for supporting me. You know, um, a lot has changed for me in these past few months in my in my private life and in my, uh, I guess, social life. Not social. I don't know what you call this. My um, public life. Damn, you can tell I went to public school. <laughs> I couldn't even remember what to say. Anyway. So, yeah, but thank you guys for staying, hanging in there with me. You guys keep me rolling. You know, I'm hoping that you spread the word about me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping to reach 500,000 subscribers someday. Shh. The last time I said that, that was like three, four years ago, and I ain't made 100,000 subscribers. Whatever. So, I want you guys to uh, stick with your boy, Disco Sean 21 And remember, I am the next Dave Chappelle. I'm not the next. I'm better than the next. I love Dave. Dave Chappelle is one of my favorite comedians. I am going to be the next Dave Chappelle. Matter of fact, if Comedy Central, Saturday Night Live, and you guys out there looking and you want to pick me up, I promise you, I promise you, Pizza, pizza, quick. I got your hot pizza. I got so much to bring to the table with my hot pizza, pizza, quick. Who? I don't want to leave with Shamu over there. I got so much to bring to the table, y'all. You just have no idea. And I ain't trying to sell you nothing. I'm just letting you know that I'm here and I'm doing my thing. Hey, so thank you guys for hanging in with your boys. It's been 22 minutes. I'm going to let you go. I know you probably go play some Nintendo, some Sega, some PlayStation, some Wii, some Xbox. But you remember, I'm a gamer too. Now I put my tag, DiscoSean21 on PSN. If you want to be my friend, I'm sorry. My friends list is packed. So they should allow us to have more friends because they gotta, I got I to gotta create all these extra names and all this other crap, you know. Oh, I see y'all see Elmo back there. Elmo, he on froze right now. I ain't going to bring Elmo up because Elmo will start dancing and I got to dance with Elmo. You know how that goes. Well, let's see what Elmo can do. Let's see if we can dance together. Let's see if we can get Elmo to dance. Let's dance. What the hell, y'all? I'm, I'm here. I'm live. What the hell? Let me get some of this shit out the way. Don't y'all hate that? You gonna see Elmo dance, but he got a bunch of shit in his way. Here we go. Come on, Elmo. Hey, come closer to Elmo, please. Wait, hold up. Elmo has something important to tell you. No, Elmo, you got dance. You hear Elmo? Elmo, Elmo yeah. just wanted to say that Elmo loves you. All right, he love you. I, I love you too, Elmo. I love you. I love you too. Mwah. Is that it, Elmo? Let's dance. Is that what's wrong with Elmo, y'all? He won't get up. Oh, he my dog. 
Be my dog. Hey, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your boy, Disco Shine 21.